Hey guys, it's Isabel from Isabella's Inspirations, and today I'm going to be showing you what's in my backpack for the 2023 school year. So let's get started. Before I show you guys exactly what's in my backpack, I want to tell you what I'm doing for school because if you didn't know, I'm homeschooled. This is my fourth year homeschooling crazy i love homeschooling um but anyways the reason i have a backpack is because on mondays and wednesdays i go to a school it's called a co-op and i do the majority of my classes there and then tuesday thursday and friday i do homework from those classes so that's why i have a backpack and at school since it's not like an actual school it's more of a school that's renting out a church um, I don't have a locker so I, or a desk. I have nowhere to put my books. So all of my textbooks and notebooks and folders and binders are in my backpack, which I'm about to show you. So it is very heavy. I probably have the choice to do a roller backpack, but I'm like, well, I'll just keep this one. So I'm going to show you guys. Oh, and by the way, I'm in eighth grade this year. Thought I should tell you guys that. This is it. It's an Adidas backpack. I've had this for, this is my third year and I love it. This is the full size and i never know what these things are for but anyways it has a little pocket in the back which i literally have nothing in a big pocket my main pocket then a little one another little one so i'm gonna show you guys first what's in the main pocket so first i have just sitting on top of all my books my pencil case uh it's kind of dirty don't mind that and then i have been going back and forth on how to organize my books whether i should do it like small to the front biggest sit in back or like by class like first hour second hour third hour fourth hour and i ended on the hour thing so first hour i have study hall and in that class i do history um just on my own i just read the book and then at home i take tests but ava keeps that book in her bag she actually takes the class at school it's a little confusing second hour i have algebra but my math book my teacher said we don't use it in class very often so i can just leave it at home Hallelujah, because that was my, one of my heaviest books. So now I just have this folder and in it is like notes and homework. And then third hour is grammar. And then this is my grammar notebook. You guys will soon find out that I tried to have a theme of like mostly blue school supplies just for fun. So anyways, I have my grammar book and then I have my grammar textbooks, which is this practice book. Grammar, I'm not that good at because I took like a two year break but I'm learning a practice book, whatever this is, and then a big textbook, a student book as it's called. So this all is for grammar. And I have lunch, my favorite class of the day. And I have biology. Biology, I have mixed feelings about biology because I am not the best at science. I just don't understand it as well as I do like math and writing, but I'm learning like all this stuff, you know, schools where you, you learn. Oh, and then this is also for grammar. Like again, it's blue. And then biology, which this is my biology lab book. And then I also have my textbook. And then I have like my favorite binder. This is the binder. And here is just like a schedule of like for important dates, like when my tests are, all that stuff. And then it actually has like, this is kind of hard to show, but it has like two pockets, if you guys can see that, like the line where it separates. So that's my study guide that I'm working on right now. It's probably not all correct, but it's okay. And I have really cute tie-dye like um, dividers, which the first one's for notes. And then the second one is graded homework. And I think I'm gonna put graded tests and quizzes in the next one, and I have two extra ones. But I love the dividers with the teal binder. So pretty, makes me more motivated to do biology. Then I have Spanish, which I so far love Spanish. Hola, me llamo Isabella. But yeah, so this is my Spanish book. And then I have then a Spanish uh, notebook that I actually use a lot. Not that much, but I do use it quite a bit. Oh, and then I also have a Spanish folder that I haven't, do I, have, I have nothing in here currently. I put a little Spanish. But yeah, I haven't used it for anything yet because she hasn't really given us any handouts. And then my last class today is choir. Love this binder. We're learning the hallelujah chorus right now. And then another one that I'm not a big fan of because it's a lot of breast support, it's really high. I'm a soprano. Who knows if it'll stay like that. That is the main pocket. My pencil case just sits right on top. And then, by the way, if my voice sounds a little bit weird, I don't know if it does, but to me it does. It's because I think I ate a lot of sugar because Labor Day was a few, like last week, so. Anyways, and in the next pocket, I have a pocket Spanish English dictionary, which this isn't actually even mine because short story time, I, at the end of class, uh, cause we use them in class and all of a sudden I looked down, I was packing my bag, I'm like, where'd mine go? 
But everyone had already left and my friend's like, well, no, someone forgot theirs, they must have taken yours. I'm like, okay, I'll take that one. So this isn't really mine, but I'll take it. And I also have my schedule in here. I don't really need it anymore, so I can probably throw that away. And then my last thing in my whole entire bag, I have nothing in the front pocket, is I don't want to call it an emergency kit because it's not really an emergency. It's just like stuff that I might need, like flossers, Kleenex, stuff like that. And I think the bag is so cute. It's like, it's just stuff on it. Oh, I can scooch calls and get up in person with you guys. First, I have Kleenex. And then, mm, when am I even going to need this? I just want to be that friend that's like, person's like, hey, really random, but do you have this? I'm like, oh yeah, I got a bag full of random things. Okay, then I have Q-tips. I always thought like if I put on like makeup, then I'm gonna fix me. But I literally, the only thing I wear makeup is mascara. So why I'm gonna need these, don't know yet. And then I have oil absorbing, absorbing sheets, which sounds really weird, but they're really handy. And when you pull this out, it brings out like a little sheet and like, it's like a little Kleenex, but it's not, it's like a cool material. And you, like, if you get like a little like sweaty, then you can put it on there like lightly and it absorbs it. I have this really cool object. What is it you ask? Well, thanks for asking. If you push the sides like this, ah, there, um, it's a light roller. I learned this from a YouTuber um, on YouTube. And uh, basically, like if you have a black shirt on, like I do with black pants, it's a lint roller and it's a sticky ball. And, but what's cool about it is that it's reusable. So like once it gets like super dirty, you can actually take the ball out. I'm not gonna take it out because I don't wanna mess it up. Cause I don't really, I've never done it before. But anyways, so mm -hmm, yeah. So this is good because I always had that problem. Like you use a lint roller in the morning before you go to school, if you have black pants, but then throughout the day, they'll get linty and I don't know, hair on them, I don't know. So this is perfect. I just put through tons of band-aids in here and also it'd be handy dandy if I got a cut or something like that, or if my friend got a cut. Cause one time actually last year I had a friend who um, got a scrape on her knee or had one and then it like happened again, I guess, I don't know. And then I have rubber bands because sometimes I'll go to school with my hair down and no rubber bands on my wrist and then that's why I have to two rubber bands. I love this. Like I, it's just like, after you wash your hands, if you want a little extra, it's hand sanitizer spray and it's natural, I think. Yeah, it's from Trey Joe's. So that's really good. I have, these are probably my favorite because after lunch, you never want to have stinky breath because you still have a whole another half of your day to go at school. So you have to have these, or just breath bands, but I like these Listerine Cool Mint po Pocket Packs breath strips. Tons of flossers in case, because I happen to love the most the foods that always get my teeth granola because it has nuts and seeds and stuff so it'll get stuck in my teeth i always have to go up to my friends like do i have anything in my teeth when really good to have a flosser which also has like a pick on the end which that's good body spray damn it in a commercial um but yeah it smells so good i got from altered state and it was originally like way more and i um than it, i got for it. i got for like literally three dollars and it's perfect because it's plastic so it won't break. You might be wondering why it's so big. I got a little one, but the little one was glass. I'm like, I'm not putting glass in my bag. My last thing is deodorant just in case I need it throughout the day. But anyways, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's in my backpack. And also maybe you could take some tips from like the little um, bag that I have on my bag. <laughs> bag in my bag for like things you might want to bring to school. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time on Isabella's Inspirations. Bye.